is going to be part of the intro to the city series featuring each of the buildings. Um, today it's going to be about the merchant docks. This is a great place to go. One, if you forgot to click the daily reward when you signed in, you can refind it here. But the biggest thing is this black market. It's definitely something you should be hitting up each day. You can refresh here a number of times. It does cost gold and it increases. Um, I think it starts 10, then 20, then 40, and it keeps going up. But there's a few things that are really cool and powerful about this place. How do you buy stuff here? You need to sell resources that you gather to get uh, currency in the market. You can always exchange items. So I was able to make some good exchanges for certain resources to get other ones. Now, I don't happen to have this random teleport at the moment, but a little trick when you're doing this stuff, if you don't, um, sometimes you'll see them on sale. But in the meantime, what I can do is I can come to my alliance shop and I can get one from there so that I have it. And the reason why I want to do that is one of the best things you can get here is you can get uh, fuel for more mobility to kill more zombies. So I know again, it takes some gold. You also get cool deals like uh, getting this VIP for half off and you'll see Commander XP and other stuff. I do recommend even though it takes some gold at least cycling through the first few times before it starts costing 100. Um, you can get these boosts to have production so that you are collecting things from those faster. Uh, these prices here you want to pay attention. Um, they're they do change and sometimes they're better values than others. The 6K for 50 is not a really great one. It's just something that comes um, as you watch the game more and get that experience. You can also get leader badges, um, turret parts, and other things as you cycle through here. It's a place that has a lot of good stuff. This is one of my favorite things, is getting these 10,000 Commander XP packs for only 100 gold. Um, super awesome. So now look at this. This 6,000 is now 120 versus it's almost half of that before. Some of these other ones that I have an abundance of resource I don't always pay as much attention to, but just be aware that those things do change. You can also get recall cards here if you're running low on those. Uh, there's various speed ups. You can get commander skill resets at a discount, so that's cool. Look at these officer XP packs and skill XP packs that you can get at discounted rates. So if you're ever thinking of buying any of these items, I promise you if you just cycle through here, a few times a day you're going to find um, those items that you would have bought in the regular shop here uh, you're gonna find them on sale you'll you'll find chests for materials like lots of good stuff you can do this up to 20 refreshes per day you can also see in this top right corner it auto refreshes every i think eight hours so you can technically do it a few more times in a day these research speed ups, um, it's a good idea to keep an eye on your stock because there's often going to be an exchange here where you can use them to get fuel cans as well. So I just, I know I already have a bunch of them. I'm not going to buy it right now. Picking up some officer XP, some skills chests as well, um, exchanging for minerals. You get officer fragment chests that are discounted. Heck yeah, another uh, 10k Commander XP. So you can get some peace shield through here as well. Uh, teleport fragments. You get the idea. Okay, so this is what I was talking about why you want to have some of those research speed ups on hand because you can get some fuel cans. Also, you can often exchange stuff to get attack hour or HP hour bonuses from here. Heck yeah, third. 10k commander xp that's three so far also elite teleports you can see picked it up for 1600 gold instead of 2000 Ooh, another chance to get two fuel cans for an elite teleport i'll take that you also be able to get items uh, for upgrading your wall turrets and there's 50 and 25 percent speed up fragments as well that you can exchange okay so just to recap it's a it's a great opportunity to get a lot of items that you might be spending gold on at a discount it's a place where you're going to get more fuel so you can kill more zombies and if you do this um 
at least the first 10 times per day, you can stockpile a lot of fuel to then use in the strongest commander event when you are killing zombies to get a bunch of points there. So you can check your mobility total with that little bar graph in the top left corner there. And yeah, it's an easy way to place high and get some points in the zombie killing portion of the strongest commander event. Thanks for watching, questions or comments, leave them below.